Um, hi, this is Zane Irwin, um, in class 7-7. Um, this is my maths ILA, and for my maths ILA assignment, I had to make a model, uh, um, a model of a part of my school, Wanstead High School, and I chose to do the drama, music, and dance department. Now, this is on a, um, using a program called Minecraft. I, um, you might have heard of it, um probably have. Um, so we start off um, at this top of the staircase that leads down to the drama department. Go down here um, to this little green area here. That's a little strip of tarmac that um, sometimes kids hang around at. Um, now uh, you're probably thinking there was an over there's an overhead thing like jutting out, but, um, the reason I haven't done that is because I'm not focusing on that part of the school. I'm doing the drama, music, and dance department, and not the technology department, which is what it's part of. And so, here's the Alan Hearn Hall. It's quite big. I, um, there are ten meters in between each little column and pillar. I measured that. And, um, there's little thing leading to the toilets. This is the little area where they keep the ping pong paddles and that stuff. This is the inside entrance to Mrs. Tosh's room, which is SD3, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I haven't been able to get inside it and do proper measurements. or um, And plus, in Minecraft, you're quite limited um, as to what you can do because there aren't like any computers or any chairs or any desks or anything you can use to resemble um, pieces of a classroom so most um, I haven't focused in the classrooms on interior design I've just focused on accuracy of where they are um, as you can see it's got a lighting system all that jazz So, why walk all the way through when you can fly? And then here's the entrance to the drama, music, and dance department. Oh, um, yeah, um, this, you may recognize this staircase that leads up to, hopefully you do recognize the staircase, to the technology department. Strictly out of bounds. Why is it out of bounds? Because I told you before, that's not the bit I'm focusing on. Um, and here we go. This is the entrance that to, you may recognize this circular corridor um, that goes around. This is the drama studio. As, um, as I said before, I'm not focusing on interior design and light switches are already on. This is the, um, entrance to the lower playground that students are technically allowed to go through but do anyway. Um, uh, walk down here. Here's 37 Miss Chang's room. It's quite small. Um, I haven't really fitted anything into this um, because there are um, mostly things that there are a lot of limitations as I said. And, um, this goes to room 38. Pretty sure this is Mr. Wilcox's room. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure, but as you can see, this has the lighting system, too. Lots of limitations, blah, blah, blah. Pretty before. Um, this is the little thing where it shows the times of instrument lessons. Um, limitations and stuff. That's the end of the music department. It's quite a thin corridor, so it's only two along in most parts. And this is the en and this is the entrance to the drama department. I fitted some signs where there aren't signs, just to make it clearer. And you can recognize this bec because it's got a ramp down here. Um, you can't really do ramps in Minecraft, so I just put half brick stone slabs down 
you may recognize this as some um, uh, long corridor. This is the um, drama teacher's lounge thing. Um, uh, I don't really know what the inside looks like. So, yeah. Um, it's drama storage room. Um, you can't really have clothes racks and things like that, so I've substituted them, substituted them with, um, double, um, cabinets and drawers and stuff. Just to symbolize. This is the theater. Um, and you may recognize the pews, well not pews, the... The bleachers. Um, this is the entrance to dance studio from the theater. As you can see, it's got the same wood planks paneling thing. Um, now, there is a mirror here, obviously, but um, there aren't any mirrors in Minecraft, so I've substituted them with glass blocks with wooden planks behind them. This is the little entrance out to the little area next to Mr. Alessandri's office. Now, thankfully I haven't been in there because I haven't been in that much trouble. Hope I haven't just jinxed that. Um, I walk in here. This is the entrance to the little corridor um, that leads to the changing rooms and the green room. Uh, often you may recognize this when you're waiting for a dance lesson. Um, you just line up out here, get your planners and pens ready. Um, or in here is where you teach your, um, where you tell your teacher why you haven't got your PE kit or your planner or your booklet. Boys changing rooms. It's also known as the green room, so that's why I've built it instead of leaving it blank like the girls changing rooms. Um, this is also known as the green rooms. I just know it primarily as boys changing rooms because I use it in that purpose more often um, in dance. Now, I don't know as you would expect what the girls changing rooms looks like. So that's just blank. And that's the end of the line. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it informative and accurate, um, and goodbye.